हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज फैमिली वाइज एरर रेट और इट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एफ डब्ल्यू ई आर दैट इज एन एक्रोनिम गिवन फॉर फैमिली वाइज एरर रेट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द क्लास इंबैलेंस एंड सम ऑफ द टर्म्स व्हिच आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन दैट दैट इज फॉल्स पॉजिटिव ट्रू पॉजिटिव ट्रू नेगेटिव एंड फॉल्स नेगेटिव सो फॉर दिस वीडियो लेट्स रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट दैट कन्फ्यूजन टेबल और कन्फ्यूजन मैट्रिक्स so uh, we have our predicted class at the top and here we have the true class or the actual one and we take two different classes that is positive and negative similarly here positive and negative so uh, when both the true class is positive and predicted class is positive we get as true positive and similarly if both are negative you get as true negative when the true class is negative but the predicted is positive you get false positive and when the true class is positive and predicted is negative you get as false negative now uh, this false positive is also called as type 1 error and false negative is also called as type 2 error so these are two error classes uh, which you can have in uh, statistics and so uh, this total gives you some positive prediction so i will write it as p pred and this will give you some negative prediction that is n pred and the total of this uh, say you have m0 that is total number of positives and here you have m1 that is total number of negatives so let's take m is equal to m0 plus m1 so m is a total number of samples or the results that we have now family wise error rate corresponds to this false positive class so this is the family we are considering that is false positive so uh, how do we define false uh, positive or family wise error rate that is the probability of observing at least one false positive that is greater than 0 so uh, this is how we define fwer now let us take one example say we have a biometric system and this biometric system is for uh, hand or fingerprint recognition and say at the university for student uh, attendance system we have kept a biometric system now for each of the student who have enrolled into the system it should uh, give the acceptance and for those who have not done the uh, enrollment it should give the rejection now what this system does is it should give uh, authentication to all those uh, students or users who have enrolled at this university but uh, if a user or a student is there but he has been rejected so that case we uh, consider as the false positive also in biometrics it is called as false rejection rate that is frr now we need to control this so fwr is essentially the probability of having the false positive greater than 0 so this is uh, very much undesirable so in order to control this we have certain measures so uh, that measure is called as bon ferroni correction so bon ferroni correction is essentially a correction which is applied to the p values that is the probability values so this usually happens when you have done multiple testing so this occurs as a result of multiple hypothesis testing so uh, there we need to apply this bon ferroni correction so what are the steps uh, in bon ferroni correction so you take this m results and you want the uh, family wise error rate less than alpha now alpha here is called as the level of significance so the standard value is 0.05 and finally you correct this alpha that is level of significance as alpha divided by m that is the total number of samples now uh, the family wise error rate in its mathematical estimate is uh, given as 1 minus 1 minus alpha raised to m so alpha is the level of significance now say for example uh, we have a set of 20 results and we have our 
alpha value as 0.0025 now if we were about to calculate the fwer then what we would obtain is 1 minus 1 minus that is 0.025 raised to m uh, which is equal to 20 the value which we get is 0.0488 now if you compare this value with the standard LOS it's very much close or we can say that it's uh, very much under the shade of 0.05 so uh, what we can uh, observe from this is that FWER or the this correction technique for FWER is very much conservative Uh, that means uh, it will uh, calculate the probability or identify the false positive with only this much probability. Now this probability is very much lower as compared to uh, some other higher probability. So we can have a probability value of some 80% or 90% then that would be much better but it's very much uh, lesser than this. And second problem is that it will identify the false negatives which is type 2 error so thereby reducing the uh, false positive error what it will do is it will increase a false negative error with this so that is the major uh, drawback of this technique and for identifying the uh, family wise error rate so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed education this video please do like share comment and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video